morning. I thought that I would do a get ready with me on a casual day slay. So usually I get up basically whatever time I want to get up, let's be honest. And the first thing that I usually do is catch up on some emails. I just watch my cats play and I usually talk to my mom first thing in the morning when I get up. And then after that, I just like to take a few moments. You can do this for as long or as little as you like, but I like to do this every morning when I get up. I just take time to think positive and empowering thoughts, what I'm thankful for. It's a really good way to get yourself in a great mood for the day. And I know it sounds cheesy but try to smile because it also helps to just lift your day up so I do this every morning before I get up and then after that it's on to brush the teeth and wash the face Okay, let's get on to the makeup portion of this. I'm putting my hair back up. I just brush it in the morning because I have in tape and extensions and I want to make sure they detangled. So my milk suggestion was correct. I had a little dairy the other day and look, breakout already. So to start, I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm going to use my Tatcha Balanced Pore Perfecting Water Gel. And then we're going to move right on to moisturizing our lips. You know I'm going to use my best damn lip mask. If you haven't tried this yet, guys, try it. It's so good. And I made it. Hey. And then we're going to primer our face and I'm going to use this YSL blur primer. I'm not even going to butcher that. I've been really liking this lately. I don't think it covers the pores as strongly, but I like how the makeup sits on top of it. And for my foundation, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. So obsessed with this. It's great if you live in humid weather because it is a matte foundation, but it's not extremely matte to where you're going to feel like a dry old lady. It's like the perfect matte foundation and the coverage is out of this world on this foundation. Like, look, this is just like one layer. Layer. look at that coverage and then the other side sad so let's fix that you can apply it however you want I do notice that the foundation does dry a little quicker so I like to put it on with the brush one side at a time and then blend it out with a damp beauty blender I think the beauty blender is the best way to go with this foundation so let's quickly run through the brows. I've been starting by using the Benefit Cabrow. It's like a pomade. I think it's so good. I think I use mine in number two or number three. I'm not positive, but all that info will be in the bottom bar. And then I go in with my Anastasia Pro Palette, which is just brow powder, to do the front of the brow and make sure any sparse areas are filled in. And even if I miss any area on the brow, our brow gel will take care of that later. And this is optional, but I feel like I'm not living unless I do this. I like to do a little concealer underneath the brows just to clean them up and carve them out. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using probably my favorite day shadow of life. This is the Dose of Colors Dual Eye Pigment in the color Shell. So what you do first is you pack on the cream base and then underneath is the pigment and I pack that on top super slow just because I don't want a lot of fallout on my face and I pack it on until I feel like my brush isn't sticking to my eye anymore. I don't know if that makes sense, but I love this shadow because it just is such a beautiful day shadow. It's not too much and I just really like the wet look that this pigment gives off.
Then we can do mascara. I'm using the Voluminous Carbon Black and lashes are always optional, but if you do want to wear lashes, these are the perfect day lashes. They are Demi Wispies. They're not super long. They're just enough, but if you don't want to wear them, you don't have to, but if you're a lash girl like me, you gotta wear a lash. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream. I'm so obsessed with this. I think this is in neutral nine. I'm not positive, but again, all that will be in the bottom bar. And then this is a soft blend concealer brush from Sigma. I love this to blend out concealer. Um, I feel like this concealer, you do gotta blend it out a little longer than other ones, but it sets beautifully and I love the finish underneath the eyes. To set everything underneath the eyes, you know I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I can't live without it. It's just too good, guys. It's too good. To bronze up the face, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Love this so much. I'm not going to go super crazy. I just want to add a little bit of color to the face. So I do my cheekbones, I do my temples, and I do a little on my chin. To add a little color on the cheeks, I'm using one of my favorite blushes. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is Sex on Fire. I'm so happy because I thought I lost this blush in the move, but I found it! And here, I'm just buffing everything out so that it all blends seamlessly. To set the brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Gel in the color Brunette. And as you can see, it not only lightens my brows, but it fills in any sparse areas. Then taking the Moonchild Glow Kit from Anastasia, I'm gonna use the pinkier shade to highlight underneath my brow bone, and I'm also going to use that shade to highlight the inner tear ducts um, on the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm also going to use it to highlight the tip of my nose, of course. And then I'm gonna use a combo of two shades to do my cheek highlight. Then you can add mascara to your false lashes. I am leaving my lower lash line blank because it is really hot outside and I don't want the mascara to transfer. And then for lips today, I'm gonna use a Ballet Pink from Eve by Eve. They are a new lifestyle brand and they currently have one boutique in Beverly Hills, but you can find their products online. I like them because they produce their products in really small quantities to preserve the quality of their products. And I know you guys have seen me use this a bunch of times now, but again, this is the Luminous Shine Volumizing Lip Luster. And the main reason I love this is because it's formulated with powerful water retaining ingredients to make my lips look fuller and more luscious. Plus it delivers shine all day and it's not sticky. Yes, please. So that is it for the makeup portion. Now, shall we get dressed? So I don't know about you guys, but I live in black clothing. This top is from Forever 21, super lightweight, and these leggings are from Target. I just, I live in black. I can't help it. My mom used to think I was gonna be like a gothic kid when I grew up, but I'm like, mom, I just love black. Choker is from Queen P, as well as these little stud earrings are from Princess P Jewelry. I have a link in the bottom bar for you guys. And yeah, let's grab some shoes, heels, no, no, no. Fluffy sandals, yes please. These fluffy little fellas are from Windsor and people stop me all the time like, where did you get those? Windsor. So that is it for this video. Can't forget deodorant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know down below. Thanks for watching guys and I love you. Bye. Update. It was just like too hot and as much as I am in all black clothes wearing advocate. Advocate, advocate, advocate. I had to change, I had to put on something more, more Florida summer appropriate. So this is what it switched to, exact same shirt from Forever 21, just switched it to white and then a pair of shorts with some chucks. Can't go wrong, can't go wrong.